Good, but then we all had a coffee and we laughed. I think Paul said, I'm going to tell what you and... Well, like, like I said, I'm not even considered a fucking grandkid of them. I'm just... To them, I'm considered jack shit. <sighs> but anyway... <clears throat> As I was saying... It said, I'll tell a story, so I think he did. I think me and Dad were the whole time of the town. <laughs> But after that, we bought a lot of beer just to drink, drink it. But yeah, pretty much. Let's see when else when I was down there. Uh, oh yeah, that's another thing I just remembered. The uncle, uncles, I keep doing quotations that we were at. Uh, his one of his youngest daughter had a kid. See, this is what I mean. See, that you saw the date. That's why I recorded just because. Didn't know if I want to keep it or not. But they had a kid in her and his wife or wife or whatever the fuck it is. She is. They went to university slash college, so they think they're better than every fucking every better than every fucking else when you tell them to fuck off. They say, like, don't be so mean to me. The thing is that them, like all of them. Them and their kids, they treat me like I'm nothing, where I will say, oh, hi, how you doing? You know, they don't fucking like them. No common decency. But as I was saying, there was that. Uh, there was that on... I'm trying to remember when. I had the me and Dad on... As I was there, it's pretty much... It was all about her kids as well, like, eat her kids. This is what pissed me off a lot. They don't say, oh, hi, how you doing? They just don't look at me, so it's like, whatever. If I'm not going to, not that important to you, even though we're supposed to be family, fuck off. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to leave everybody alone. I won't call, won't text, won't do anything. Because I'm, I'm getting tired of it. People say, oh, are you just telling me so you can get sympathy? No, I don't want sympathy. I'm just telling you all the shit that's happened to me. There's certain things I won't tell you because they're super personal and I don't want to be told. Other things I'll tell you because I... Wait a minute. There we go. Other things I'll tell you just because... Well, fuck them. Like the one that was on drugs. He... I think he's out. Dad's getting clean when the... Well, when this virus was going on. So there's that. Much better. Uh, so yeah, then someone else dad works with, so it's like, eh, it's over there as well. So and another thing that's that's pissed me off. Whenever there's say a Thanksgiving, Easter, whatever supper, they don't give me a com a come fucking common courtesy call like, oh, do you want to come down for this? Or you can stay here for like a week or so. Nothing. It's all about, oh, my kids want to come down. Let's invite them. Like what the fuck. It does. Food. It just stresses me out of it, and just makes me wonder what the fuck is going on. Like, am I th to them? Am I that not important? I know I'm important, but that's what I'm saying. Plus, they treat. I say treat me like a black sheep. I'll gladly be the fucking black sheep of the damn family. You came to see <clears throat> and like for my mom's side, they treat me. If I'm over there, they say, "Oh hi, Levi." It's like I don't care. You know my name. They say, "Oh hi, Levi. How you doing?" Because I think I showed you, yeah, like I said, my name, like I said, they say, oh, hi, Levi, how you doing, and all that. They don't walk past me. They always say hello, come give me a hug, kiss, kiss on cheek. The mom's side of the family is huggers. <laughs> Stuff like that. <sighs> it's all that fun stuff. Like, they don't really, my, like I said, my mom's side of the family is like that. They show love and affection. Dad's side, can give two fucking shits about you. If I could, Wait, uh, I'd line this, my dad's brother, Stop. his wife, on. one of his kids, because one of them is starting to smart the fuck up. Uh, the next brother, his sister, the husband, or husband she has right now, all her kids, 
and fucking Claymore kick each one of them in the face. Over and over. Till they learn some fucking manners and learn to smarten the fuck up. Don't hate my family and just getting tired of me of their stupidness. Which is a lot. And it, like I said, every time I tell you about, oh, all the shit that's happening, it's not to get sympathy or pity from me. I'm just telling you what happens. Because they do not need pity. They need to be smacked on the head a bunch of times. Let's see what else. Oh, yeah, Stem Mom now has... Well, it's, it's something good she's doing, but... I still think she's taking it a bit too far. It's all about her. She has something called Living Hope Ranch, which... It's a good thing. Well, not... She's one of the owners of it. It's, uh... Where girls... So, girls from about... Third... I, this is where the age are going to get skewed. I think 13 to 19. They go there when they're have been abused physically, emotionally, and mentally. This, sorry, I'm going to get back on their feet and make sure they're all good and repair their the psyche and all that. Or psyche image, whatever it is. Which I think is good, but she takes it too fucking far. It's got to be all about her, all about this. So it's like, eh, whatever. And if I remember right, you are equal. Damn, she got some cheeks on her. Hope they clap. You on my side? Cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ha, <sighs> sweet Jiminy Javis. Ah, uh, Jesus. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, then... Well, and once again, quotation marks. Her husband is spreading rumors about me, trying to make himself be, uh, feel better because he's a fucking idiot. So it's like, he got... The, it, he's got to spread rumors about everybody, and then it's everywhere because... When you live in a small, when you used to live in a small town or still go back there, everyone fucking talks about you, and it gets really annoying really quickly. G example, I use example a lot. Say, I, say if I still live in a small town, went to the middle of the street and took a shit. The next day, everyone say, "Oh, did you hear Leroy took a shit in the middle of the street?" Stuff like that. It's like, uh, it's a bit annoying. So yeah. I don't know why they can't learn their own, learn, mind their own fucking business. Jeez, I don't know what's wrong with me. Hey, <sighs> sweet, did you mean to fucking jab us? Do, do, do. Head out. Damn, look at them cheeks. Can they clap? Can they fucking clap? It's a girl. Hello! I think you're Riku, right? Tidus, keep it in your pants. That was close. Yeah. Huh. Ow! Hey, 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 hey! Let go of the hair! It's got freshly permed. Okay, no need to pull the guns on me. Put them away. Put them away. What? Speak English? I don't know. Okay, put the knife away, please. I don't need to be shivved. That's the last fucking thing I need. Now the next turn on her. Put it away. Put it away, please. Is she infatuated with us? And... I think that means good night. Because she fucking just sucker punched us right in, in the gut. <sighs> Sweet Jimmy Jabbas. So some of this, well, I do, I have a bunch of drinks that I'm drinking right now. I have Fresca, Coors Original, I thought I had Coors Banquet, but no. Uh, Old Milwaukee and Palm Bay. And if if, 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 once again, my brain and my tongue is like, one of them had a stroke probably. But as I say, Palm Bay, for one way it is, everybody is just, it's a vodka mixed drink. So think like a screwdriver. A screwdriver is orange juice and vodka. So it's just like that. Can't you can taste it? 
For the love of quit fucking hitting me! I just woke up! <sighs> he just pushed me right in the nipple. Don't use the flamethrower army, uh Can't remember the, can't remember the thing from. Weren't you in Final Fantasy X too? I'm sorry, I'm getting etc. Ow! He wants us to dive down and swim. I don't know. I said I don't understand. I don't understand. Fuck off. You said you can say if you make yourself useful. Of course. You, you understand me? Ow! Quit hitting me! Motherfuckers! They keep smacking me for no goddamn reason. Really pissing me off. Oh, almost forgot. Uh, oh, sphere grid. I know how to use a sphere grid. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, hurry up, please. Ow. I don't need. Let's see. What can I push? <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, we'll go take a look at the sphere grid. <clears throat> uh. See you. what can I do here? Oop. Okay, that did nothing. I don't know, we'll try. Uh let's see. <clears throat> I don't know. It's been a while. Well, it's been a while I haven't used a fucking spear grid. You can sort of forget about it. Uh, let's see. Let's go back there and let's try this again. No. Huh. Mm. Yeah, we'll move there and let's. What abilities do we can we use? There we go. <clears throat> we acquired cheer. There we go. I think we are good. Hey. Like I said, I think we are Gucci. Hard to say. Uh, I think we're good. Uh, but yeah, like her, her fuck, Stemmel's fucking kids are fucking idiots. <clears throat> like I said, oh, I'm going to eat this two-week hard-boiled egg. He's like, Mom, I'm sick. I need this and this. I don't know why I'm sick. And me and Aaron's thinking, like, what the fuck? I know why you're sick, because you ate a two-week hard-boiled fucking egg, you idiot. But that's why I, I said to my dad and Pratt, Pratt when someone was around, aren't you glad I never got into, say, drugs or all that? And you sort of... This is why I say he beat... They, Mom and Dad beat marriage and me. Figuratively, not literally. Like the, by beat, I mean they beat. They mean they sort of pounded into me, so I, I knew. Say please, thank you, excuse me. Say hello. Say how are you? Even if you don't like the person, all that stuff. Treat people how you want to be treated. If they, if they treat you like shit, you can treat them like shit, sort of thing. Here we go. I love. We just jump. And it's like nope. Hit the deck. Sure, it's happened before. Okay, so we got to go whatever way. <coughs> Jeez. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. I go to my uncle's every once in a while to help him. Well, these kids are so fucking lazy. That's even more funny. This is the uncle that was married to my dad's sister. So Anne, but don't call her Anne. Just because she... I've given them so many chances and then they've lost respect for me. So it's like... The chances I give you, I'm never going to call you Aunt or Uncle. I'm going to say, your name, your name, your name. Like one of them said, oh, look at me like you don't hate me. Like, I glare and like, no, you fucking look at me like you... I'm the scum of the year, so why should I show you the same courtesy? <sighs> Whatever. But as I was saying, uh, I go over to this place. This kid is so fucking useless. He said, like, oh, I need help bringing a dresser upstairs for my nieces. 
Well, they're, they're... I know I'll never be the same. Shook my world so hard again. Wish I washed away my sin.